in the previous episode you see the installation of the new fridge and make some woodworking and this is the fridge and all the stuff so thank you Domenico for helping me The battery box. Those are my battery box, the new one. I already make from, with the CNC mill machine, the aperture for the cables. For this is just under the chart table seat and this is for the engine battery. I make the new one because the old one was completely crap. You can see here, they are completely gone, completely corroded. This was just behind, uh, just below the chart table, it was corroded too. So I did the new one. Those are the new one. So for this now, I start to gluing with epoxy after use some screw. This is a very tough material, one of the best plywood on the market. And you can leave one week in the water and doesn't happen nothing. It remains the same. So I use for the battery because it's very tough, it's very tough and it's very safe. And the same here, you can see the base, the same material for the battery. I will use the normal, um, uh, the normal plywood, uh, Hokume plywood, to make the box just under the seat. The previous uh, box was very big for the batteries, probably stay two batteries, but in this case, I will use one battery only. I will use two Victron battery 110 AGM, and one for engine is 75 uh, um, ampere hour, uh, made by Optima. Uh, so, the gray one is the for the service battery, the first AGM, and I will use just under the seat of the chart table, the second one, 110. But the original box was too big, so we'll use this uh, piece of plywood, same material, tough material, so I can divide the battery here. I will use this space to storage some spry, like Woody 40 or, so, or something fused here electric, and here we use the battery. I make a very high divisory, and this is the original cover that I need to make a little uh, modification, but I use this to make that one. And now I start to warnish those one, and gluing with epoxy those one, that other one. Good morning guys, another day at power plant to work on Ellos. Today I need to fix the hole on the bow because when I put the new toy rail, it's a little bigger than the original one. So the holes, there is not correspondence. There is five millimeter difference. So I can't send tick and low down for five millimeters. I prefer to close hold the hole of the bow and after that drill again. So join me in this adventure another stuff to do so when you put the hand in the bot you change something remember it's never the same you need to do all the work so now we start the tick is quite more thick there is no more correspondence on those holes so i need to close with epoxy 
and after that drill again a little bit higher. Now I'm clean with uh, the sandpaper 1000. I need to send a gel coat to take out the rust and prepare everything for be closed with epoxy. Oh, well, you can see here there is no correspondence. The bore roller is more agar than the original holes. So I need, I already tell you, close the hole and drill again. You can see here the difference is about five millimeters in all one. Now the most difficult part is center perfectly and drill in the same position. Use uh, some epoxy putty, very strong, and we go. <clears throat> wow, my phone is fall from here to there, nothing happened. I, I have a very tough case and fortunately my phone is still going great. Before using epoxy growth added with mineral fiber to have excellent resistance, I prefer to wet the hole with a simple epoxy. After that, I will use the growth. Hi guys, I completely fill up all the holes, no bubble air, completely strong, and I will wait that it's cured and we need to make other holes. You can see here the tape that I use to protect the um, epoxy that doesn't uh, come out. Uh, I will take out uh, tomorrow and for sure I have a very strength material to drill. You can see the old holes that are ready uh, fill up with epoxy and that I need to drill. And now I need also to use some uh, um, sealant to cover just the bow. And now we start with the black sheet. Okay, we wait an hour for a couple of hours to take out the paper. The anchor roller is anchored to the board with an 8mm bolt screwed into the fiberglass directly. So I went to the factory uh, where work Andrea, my friend. He is a specialist in style and steel fitting for big, huge uh, yacht. He, we make this small modification in my bore roller. We make a little longer so I can protect the tick from the anchor and I weld about five millimeter of stainless steel. After that, we drill and I will have two bolts screw on my board. So more strength on the bow roller. I also had to reinforce the welds on the spinnaker attachment on the bow pulpit because I noticed that there was a crack in the metal. So to avoid any problem in the future, I prefer to do now. Here, unfortunately, I made a mistake 
to design the cupping rail and made a very long piece of tick so the hole of the plate where you need to clip the lifeline is just in the connection of the two pieces of tick so I can't screw the bolts so I went to Andrea to close this hole and make another hole in another position Andrea with his skills and experience completely closed the hole uh, we waited for it to cool down and then we make another hole in another position Another more liquid steel to finish to close the hole. You need to be very skilled to do this type of work because it's a TIG uh, welding and Andrea is very expert to do, make all the day this type of work. The steel is cold now and now Andrea start to shine and polish the new piece that we weld on the bow roller. And now it's time to polish and my bow roller now gets a little more stainless steel and is more strong. And now it's time to polish the plate for the lifeline. Before doing the final polishing, we have to make the new hole, which will be one centimeter further away from the interruption of the capping rail. Some oil uh, before drilling, and we start drilling just now. The hole is about uh, eight millimeter wide. And now a very huge and big countersink as was original because there will be a 8mm bolt. I need to install the bow, bow roller and eh, change the holes. They are more higher so I need to center perfectly all the holes on the bow so I will use a caliper and I go so I use the caliper to make the correct alignment of the bow roller as was original I need to make the holes about one centimeter higher the original that was made 30 years ago so I spend a very lot of time to align perfectly the old holes with the new ones. I can't make any mistake because it's a very important piece of the board. Also in the bow roller there is the attachment of the stay of the bow and for this reason the alignment must be perfect. I triple check the holes that I need to do, I can make a mistake. I use the old holes as template, you 
can see the holes are five, one centimeter more high than normal because it's a very thick tick. So I need to make the drill, uh, the hole. I need to pay a lot of attention, it's very delicate part. So for sure I drill the first one. And after that, this, this, this one, this is, uh, I need two threads. And after that, I'll use a screw only on the tech, on the tick to fix those, those uh, uh, part here. As you can see, I use a big part here to get more um, strength in this uh, part of the bow roller and the chain doesn't hurt too much my new tick. I'm quite nervous because now I need to drill, but I will for sure double check. I need to clean with acetones to take out the line of the pencil and in a while we start to drill the holes. Normally I am very very precise but when I drill I make any time a lot of mistake so you can see this is the third time better that I check the hole that I need to do. Those are the bolts. I need to check exactly the inclination of the holes, so I use this tool to get the correct inclination of the drill. Countersing the hole is very important to avoid to crack the gel coat and also make a ring of sealant to avoid the water penetration. I made also the two holes on the thick capping rail and now I need to thread all both. This is only thread and the first one Original my idea was to thread also the new one, but now I have a lot of space below the deck to make a through hole so I can use a through bolts and make a very very strong installation in the bow roller. I need to test if uh, the hole are correct and also if I make a very good threads for the bolts and I need to check before make the final installation with the sealant. Yes, it's very tight and I like the installation. The thread that I made in, in the fiberglass is very hard and give me a good security on the quality and the duration and the tightness of my anchor roll. The use of the epoxy raising in the hole on the tick allow me to have a greater resistance and at the same time a waterproof so the tick doesn't root. Guys, the bad lucky hunt me. I was very careful and I measured 20 times, but I told you, for me it's easy to make a mistake. Uh, the first hole I made for the bow roller was too high, the other hole was perfect except this one. So now I need to fill up with epoxy and tomorrow we'll drill again. My God, so stupid. The day after in a very wet day, a lot of rain, I drill the hole finally in correct position. Okay, all the holes are okay. Perfect alignment and now I need to use and fix everything. Before I put the sealant in the holes, I need to countersink all the holes as was original.
cleaning with acetones. I completely finish my sealant. I use normally the 3M4200 for this type of work. The 5200 is too strong. So I use the end of the bottle using this small spatula to spread all the sealant around the holes. Normally I use the gun, but in this case there was not more available. I hope that don't take out this Borole for the next 30 years. <laughs> Job done! It's quite hardcore to do for yourself because it's a huge for me uh, bow. So in one hand I have the screw, in the other one I have this type of tools to completely fix my bow roller. But at the end Franco coming in the power plant to help me to give the correct uh, tightness of the bolts. But I do 90% for myself. Check everything, a little cleaning of the mess with the sealant. I hate the sealant because it's very easy to make a mess, but not too much in this time. I think that I can lift the board from the bow roller now. <laughs> it's a really cure. Now I need to insert this long one, the maximum strength on the anchor and everything will be okay. The total thick is about uh, 8 cm, so I need a very long bolt to pass all this uh, quantity of material. Okay guys, the second bolt is insert. Okay guys, my bow roller is installed and we move soon in another episode. Guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it and I wait your comment. So write your comment. I would like personally reply to you. And if you like my video, remember always to leave thumb up. We we'll see in the next episode. For the moment is all. And Gabriele say hi.